Hey, what's going on, Last Frontier family? So, we're gonna go park the truck real quick and I'll let Haley take over and tell you what we're, what we're doing in this video. All right, let's get it. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? We're just going over the wrap um, for Travis's Jeep today. Um, the wrap we chose is the Satin Desert Storm um, for his, and it looks tan right now. What's really cool is when it's dusk, it turns to kind of a salmon-y tan, which is really neat. Um, it went well. Lots of emotions were, <laughs> were spilt doing this. Um, but, and the, what, the one thing was we didn't notice was when we were researching on the wrap in the cold, there had been no one that had done a wrap and had at least uploaded it to YouTube that showed how it did in the cold. So we're just doing this to share with you guys what happens. Um, so as you can see right here, it just is chipping. We realized as we were taking all the stuff um, to the dump that we were grabbing it and it just started just falling apart. So. That's the one thing with this is usually when the wraps are very stretchy and you can't actually form them to the surface in the cold, it just chips. So this door we'll, re we'll redo, um, has a couple of chips in there. We haven't got the badges on yet or anything like that. We're waiting for those to come in. Um, but otherwise it was really easy for the most part. The corners, right here we have a nice sticker to put on the back of this later yeah but just damage it right there so this was our first um <laughs> side panel we stretched it a little too far <laughs> we made a hole we, we cried so. we cried <laughs> other than that um it actually looks really good we had to cut around these in some of the videos they just wrapped over the hinges we decided we liked the black accents and we just took a little bit more time and cut around them. Um, this panel has a couple of chips in it on the other side, so we'll replace that panel. How many feet did you order, Dave? Uh, I believe I did like uh, 380. 380, and we still have some extra Yeah. after doing the whole thing, so. We have a lot more than I thought we would end up having. But well, eventually, I think Tavis wants to replace these. We'll get um, metal metal hood brackets for those. Tavis did this whole set in himself, which I'm really impressed with. I came home and it was all done. Um, he just laid it over it and just took his time and went around. We're gonna get uh, more halo lights for these. It looks like looks like obviously from rocks. We got we got a chip there. We got some chips right here, but I don't know that right there, babe. Yeah, about. gonna do that one. Well, the cold is basically peeling it back. Um, I had that wrapped all the way around, but the cold just ripping it back into negative 30, negative 40 degrees. Today's it's like negative 20 right now. Yeah, it's negative 20, 29 ish. It's cold today. And then uh, next week, we have the big video with all the other yeah. things that he'll add on to it. Yeah, this is the last video i'm making it stock. stock it'll it'll be anyway. it'll, yeah. yeah it'll be <laughs> lift it'll be lifted with bigger tires this is the last video of it and then in the last video we did um Thomas was talking about the little additions he did these are the hook road um crossbars up here these are too light so we're actually going to send these back these only hold 88 pounds and unfortunately well fortunately i should say <laughs> Um, the tire, the spare tire going up here weighs about 130 pounds. Yeah, close to 150. So, um, these are not going to work. No. Nope. We're going to take those off and return those. Yeah, they're nice crossbars. They're not, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. They just, they don't carry as much weight as we wanted, so. Yeah. So, we put the tire up there and the whole thing just kind of, <laughs> kind of flexed on there. Surprised it didn't break. Flexed too much. So, we're going to send those back. We're going to get some that have 150 to 220 pounds on there you want to hold more than the spare tire so we're gonna do that um is there anything else honey no i think that's all we kind of want to talk about just go over the wrap and the, how it's doing in the cold yeah. other than that it's perfectly fine i mean anything it's just the little rock chips and just the cracking in the areas that you know you open it or your gloves yeah i'm assuming that. what happens i just open this a lot and just maybe the vibration of it you know just it got it yeah but 
so far most of it has yeah like like she said um held up fairly well just we use rocks in alaska instead of salt so yes yeah, so you have no salt here it's got <laughs> some damage put, like, gravel on the road. it's got some damage in the front so. but all right good wait till the next video next week it'll be a big one we'll go over it'll be like a unveiling, unveiling. Of, of the new jeep um so stay tuned for that one and we will get it uploaded next sunday stay blessed guys <laughs>